to recap, Jimmy Valiant proclaims his friend Pistol Pez Watley the best black athlete in the world. The, in the world. In the world. The moment he says these words, Pistol Pez Watley stares a hole in him, and as we will soon find out, flips his lid. He became pissed off Pez Watley. He became pissed off Pez Watley. They go back to the announcers, and Tony says, we don't understand why it's happened. He can't figure out why Pistol Pez Watley Throughout the show, is no one could. so angry. They were talking about getting an explanation and never got one from Pez. They're baffled. So they show the full clip, and Valiant calls him the best black athlete in the world, and he immediately becomes pissed off Pez Watley. Now, before you go any further, mm -hmm. I just want you to everyone to know this. That when we watched the first half of this video, and we were alerted that we were going to see the whole thing, if you would have told me, Brian, I want you to imagine how this turns out, it is impossible that I could have done justice to the way this actually turned out. It was a million times better than I could have ever imagined in my mind's eye. When you see the whole thing, you have to understand, they're both dancing in the beginning. They're oh, yeah. Both loving life. Oh, yeah. Just ecstatic to be there. And then Valiant drops his line about being the best black athlete in the world, and Pez's mood flips. But not Jimmy's. And Jimmy stomps, and he claps. Another guy who didn't get it. And he stomps, and he claps. And he stomps, and he claps, and he turns around, and Pez headbutts him and drops him. That <laughs> dropped him. <laughs> Pez is going after him. Pez conveniently had scissors in his, in his pocket, just in case such an occasion occurred. And he's going for Valiant's hair. David Crockett frantically trying to break it up. David Crockett is screaming Pez at the top of his lungs. What are you doing? Repeatedly. No, just the name Pez. 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 So, Audience is screeching. Yep. And Pez shoves Val uh, Crockett away. He cuts off Valiant's ponytail. And he was shouting. I'm not even sure who he was talking about. But I definitely heard the words honky and also black boy. Then he went back to the studio where he cut a fiery promo about beating up hillbillies. He eats hillbillies for breakfast. Mm -hmm. This was the best thing I ever saw. <laughs> Pez Wadley must go into the WWE Hall of Fame. I will not stand for this it if he was, does not go in. I won't lie. This was a fantastic performance. It was fucking the best thing on the show except for Ric Flair, yeah. which <laughs> we'll play later. Yes. We got some then, clips. Then we got something I didn't know was possible. You know, sad Jimmy Valiant. <laughs> I've had Jimmy Valiant on the show. Mm -hmm. On a radio show. Yeah. I didn't think this was possible. No. When Jimmy Valiant was on the show, he was dancing, clapping. I'm pretty sure he did the show while dancing and clapping. I hope so. Not this Jimmy Valiant. No. This was sad and morose. Out of character, Jimmy Valiant. Out of character. He was Jim Valiant. He was James Valiant. <laughs> he said there was hurt in his body. He had no explanation of what had just happened. He said it's like a man coming home. And I don't know what he said because I do bleed for five seconds. He compared it to when a man comes home and finds his woman with another man. And apparently that phrase was... So controversial in 1986 that they actually bleeped it out of the program. You've got to be kidding me. No. And you people cry today about PG. <laughs> they bleeped out that phrase. Wow. Ric Flair said much worse than that on this show, as we shall get to. Ric Flair was... I was going to say he's more subtle, but he wasn't. No. I don't know no. why they bleeped it out. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure he didn't say fucking... Most positive. See, if he said coming home and finding another man fucking your wife, that would get bleeped. But I don't think he said that. Yeah. So he said, maybe I'm just too nice. Give away the shirt off my back to help someone. I loved when he's trying to figure out why Pez did what he did. <laughs> and he says, maybe Pez has mental problems. Maybe Pez had a seizure. Yeah. Pez Wadley had a seizure. Which caused him to headbutt Jimmy It caused him to cut off his ponytail with scissors. <laughs> yes. That's a grand mall seizure right there. 
He said Pez was still his brother. He's a loving person, and if Pez had a problem, he wanted to help. In Jimmy's mind, Pez is still a victim at this point. Oh, yeah. This so, is just so mind-boggling that he would behave this way over simple words. I can't believe it. <laughs> Something, he must have had a seizure. He must have serious mental problems. David Crockett also said that he had never seen a person change like Pistol Pez Watley had. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you never see, seen a lot of turns there in Jim Crockett promotions. But nothing like Pistol Pez. Yeah. Shivani interviewed Nighthawk. Nighthawk Coltrane is his name. Nighthawk Coltrane. Which is a hell of a name. It's too bad he didn't make it. <laughs> Nighthawk Coltrane, first of all, he wanted to know what was wrong with Pistol Pez. That's not the pistol he knows. And he also wanted to help. Everyone's, Presumed he must have been having a mental breakdown as well. Everyone's worried about Pistol. He said they would work things out. And he left. Now, it is interesting that the Nighthawk also didn't understand why Pistol Pez got so mad. That's weird. It's just weird. It was pretty goddamn clear to me. 